Hey brothers and sisters, it's Steve here. And we've all heard what's going on, the Asbury University revival. And if we have a look at the actual, some of the videos, we're gonna look at the videos. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it is an ad influence world right now and you can't do anything about it but how they actually make their revenue by using ads so the people once again flock to a small central Kentucky town where revival is still going strong. The spontaneous revival started February 8th and it has not stopped. And there have been so many people coming in that the town there in Wilmore and the university have had to make some changes. And it's had an enormous impact on the community. WKYT's Phil Pendleton has more. <laughs> What is it that has drawn so many so often here? And I mean, this is a testament of it, right? A little town, subway down the street, convenience store over there. But they said 20, you know, 20,000 people. I mean, that's amazing. It's just people. Regular folks just want to come out and experience the goodness. of Last service for the general public was to begin at two, yet it started as soon as hundreds of young people walked in. It's really the opportunity to, to be in a place where the Holy Spirit has ascended upon, descended upon and just been anointed there. There were so many people that came here Sunday that police pretty much had to shut the town down to anyone other than those who lived here because it was pretty much over capacity. The town was bursting at the seams. And today, this parking lot, which is several hundred yards away from Hughes Auditorium, was filling up hours before that 2 p.m. service was to begin. Wilmore is a town of about 5,000, but the town has attracted possibly three or four times that many. People stay for the services and then stop into local businesses. I think we're just kind of humble and grateful that um, just our town has just been so full of people that are seeking God at this time, which is really neat. Services are more structured and scheduled. This is not an, an Asbury planned event. This is not something we have a handbook for. So, you know, we got the sense pretty early on God was doing something really big here. And therefore, we knew it wasn't ours to hold forever. And so we're seeing now that there's a, a natural movement to take this out into the world, which is the sign of a true revival. Well, the service. Okay, so you heard that, what that lady just said that it is needed to be taken out to the world, and that is a true re revival. And that is the truth. That is what a revival is. So what is a revival actually mean? It means bringing something that has died and literally bringing it back to life, okay? So we're talking about the revival of Christians and people that want to know and search for God and want to know more about him. Okay, that's what revival is. It's not, it's the new normal right now. You're not going to see any miracles taking place and you're not going to see people getting slayed in the spirit. But it should be you that you see that as well. When a revival happens, listen to me very careful. When a revival happens, the spirit of God will be present in such a force that it'll be shown. And if you look on some of the videos, you'll see there's only like a half a dozen people up the front. Literally, people should be falling down on their knees if they're worshipping Jesus Christ, okay? It's simply put, it is a downpour of surrendering yourself to Jesus Christ and getting down on your hands and knees. That's what a revival is. When you're at that point that you're all dried up, that you really want to get a touch of God back, to fulfill your life, to put you back into perspective and alignment with Jesus Christ, you need a revival for that to happen. We look in the media and we see that they're showing it up as this is a spectacular thing that thousands of people are coming. But unfortunately, what happened, this happened in 1970 as well, the same area, the same school. A revival happened and then it dissipated. And there's been revivals out there and they happen and then they 
implode. They literally implode. And you don't hear anything about it. Why is this happening? See, a revival means a renewing. A revival means to take the dead and revive it and make it alive again in Jesus Christ. If you get to that point that you say, all right, great, this revival, we'll go see it. And you hear the media saying people are coming from the world and all, and just to come in to see what it's like because they want to touch a God. How much do they want to touch a God? See, the thing is, when you see something like this happen, it needs to move. It needs to move to move and move from one place to another. That's what a revival is. It can't just sit in one spot. This needs to continue, and this is not going to continue. This university is not going to keep having its doors open and allow people to do this. It's just not going to happen. You know that. And we're, we're, it's practically impossible that that's going to happen. Then they're eventually going to say, uh, we're done. That's it. Revival is over. It does not need to be over, brothers and sisters. A revival can be in your home. A revival can be on TikTok as what I am doing right now. It's not about me. It is about Jesus Christ. It is about everything for him. You can do a revival anywhere. What it is, is if you need a renewing and a complete immersion back in Jesus Christ and a touch of him and a personal relationship with him, that is what a revival is. I'm telling you now, go to your family, start a revival in your home. It doesn't need to be media represented, okay? A revival means to getting back with a personal relationship back with Jesus Christ that you've kind of dried up, you've been sort of in the lull with it, but you want to get back and be on fire for Jesus Christ. And this is what God is trying to show right now, that do not stop these revivals, continue to make them flow around the world, around the nation, that when we start seeing revivals taking place like this all over the world, then God is moving. And that's what we need to see. That's what a revival is all about. Yes, we can see a university that thousands of people are flocking to it because they see something that they are missing in their lives. There's a lot of churches out there that can do the same thing. A revival can happen in any church. A revival can happen in your own home church or where you go to. A revival can happen when you get down on your hands and knees in your prayer closet. And a revival can happen. Do you want a revival in your life? Do you want a revival in your family? Do you want to have a revival with all your friends? Take away the world and just rely on Jesus Christ? That is a revival. So. I'm not riled up about this. I'm just seeing how the media is representing it. One little place is a revival, okay? It needs to continue to keep going. Revival means from the dead to restore, to restore it back to where it was, okay? And that means life-giving right? revival. It needs to continue, and we need to see it continue. Get on TikTok and say, I am revived in the name of Jesus Christ. That's a revival. If you are afraid to get on TikTok and be ashamed of sharing Jesus Christ, then there's something wrong with your walk. You need that revival, guys, okay? I'm just being honest and blunt and, and blunt to the point because God is telling me this to say this right now. A revival is in place for all to accept. Not just at one church for people to walk in, put their hands in the air, go up to the front with a few people on thing. You literally need to have all those people in that church right now, in that hall, to fall down on their knees and give it to Jesus Christ. That's what a true revival is. Okay, guys, I, I, I had to say this. I had to put it. Uh, God told me to say it. Stay strong. Stay firm. Stay steadfast because things are going to get worse. But we need revival situations to put God first and show that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen? Amen, brothers. Thank you for allowing me to project myself and say what I needed to say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.